Nikikupa tafsiri ya neno mume originally unaweza ukalia mume sio baby mume sio honey all these name you are calling your husband you are degrading him the word husband meaning master lord lord manake owner so the moment you are married manake you are owned na umilikiwi tu mwili na miwani yako uliovaa kwa nini kuna divorce nyingi leo women want to be equal with men it cannot apply The moment you want to be equal with your husband that moment God is away amewaacha nyinyi mmalizane and trust me God will always be on the side of the man God will only be on my side when I stay in my lane when I'm out of my lane God is not there Mungu akikwambia na wapeleka nchi inayotoa maziwa na asali nendeni Israeli nyinyi mkachagua kwenda chunya hayupo kwa nini wakati Eva analeta tunda nyumbani Mungu alikuwa amenyamaza kimya He was not there This is not my question. The question is the man should bring the food. Kwa hiyo mtumishi hela zangu mimi ni za kwangu peke yangu. Hela zako sio za kwako. Oh yeah. Ndio maana kama ni gari nzuri nunua saa hii. Kado hajaolewa. Kama ni nyumba nzuri jenga saa hii. Because trust me, haijawahi kutokea utulivu when a woman is powerful financially and a man is weak financially. Hata mkizuga mkisema hivi, mimi nitakuheshimu tu. Hata kama ni nitakuheshimu. Hey. He, mungu anajua men are not emotional ndio maana kwenye maelekezo aliyotupa akatuambia mume mpende mke wako siwezi kukuambia mimi ufanye kitu unachoweza kukifanya kila siku nakupa maelekezo ya kufanya kitu ambacho uwezaji kukifanya kwamba ili uishi vizuri love your wife na wewe mwanamke wewe mungu anajua kuti ni mziki ujui kuti uwezi ni mziko yani wewe kuamrishwa kuambiwa kitu ufanye uwezi that's why god commanded obey To you loving is easy. Ndio maana mnapolalamika mnalamikaga hivi. Mimi nakupenda. No no no, it was not your job to love me. Your job was to obey me. Siku zote tunatamkaga vitu ambavyo ni vyepesi kuvifanya. Inapokuja kwenye mahusiano, kila mtu anakimbilia ambalo ni vyepesi kwake, ambalo Mungu akuliagiza. Utasikia mwanamke anasema hivi, "Yaani mimi nimempenda, nimempa mapenzi yangu yote." Ulituma utoe mapenzi? Ulituma umpende? Mungu alikuagiza ufanye nini? Ishia hapo. Mtu anayetii mwanake nini? Simama. Umesimama. Ka, ka. Nenda paka pale, nenda paka pale. Lakini wewe sasa umeambiwa ishia hapa, ukajiongeza, ukapitiliza. Stay in your lane. Emotions ni chanzo kikubwa sana cha umaskini. You are letting go a lot of opportunities just because Fred attack. You are staying in the poverty because of love. You are never called to love. Love is our calling because God knows it is hard for us to love because we are not emotion. Kwa Mungu anapomwambia mwanaume mpende mke wako, simply anachomfanyia anambreak, anamnyenyekesha. So every time a man is forced to love, is broken so that he can love, can have compassion. Upendo huvumilia, a man cannot relate. Sifa zote za upendo hazikuandikiwa mke, zimeandikiwa mwanaume zile. Haukosi kuwa na adabu kwa sababu zinani sisi wanaume we are reckless. We can be anything at any time. Uko bize. Yaani mimi mwanaume usini mpendeje, siyo ni mpendeje, umetuma upende. You are supposed to say this. Kila uliloniambia nifanye, nimefanya. Swali ni hili. Yote aliyokuambia ufanye, ulifanya. Kipereto. Najua tu Mungu atanipigania. Mungu naye amenyamaza kimya. Tangu uliposema Mungu atakupigania, paka mahakamani ulibaki peke yako. Ulinyang'anywa hadi nyumba. Mungu hajapigana. Why God knows. Don't have obedience. Don't know respect. Cannot respect. Ni rais kuambia watu wako simwambie baba yako hivyo. But look at the way you are answering their father in front of them. Watoto wa kike wengi msala wenu mlionao ni mmoja tu. Baba zenu waliwatreat nyinyi kama princess na wakati wa mama zenu walitreatiwa kama watumwa. Ulitakiwa ujifunze. Vile alivyo baba yako alivyokuwa anamtiti mama yako vile. Ndio ujifunze, uchukue shule. Hivi ndivyo na mimi nikienda kwa jofu atanitreat hivi hivi. So in your mind your daddy was treating you as a princess and then you are going to a man expecting he will treat you as a princess no that man is expecting to treat his children princess not you wewe kwake ni mtumwa ampende kusikia ngumu sana pastor tulikuwa tunazungumza kuhusu hela tungeendelea kuhusu hela kwa nini nimeingiza hiki kipengele because most of you your money is associated to your emotions some of you hamwezi kufanya vitu vikubwa kwa sababu mna hisia za huruma you are in a competition business competition this tender belongs to you and as like, ah nimeona tu nimwachie and you keep on being poor if we know how much the kingdom of god needs money hata kuwa na huruma you will go out there with the power of god and taking over